Time now for another riddle. What do these vehicles and one of India's largest and most powerful bikes have in common? Power, utility and sturdiness. Time now to meet the huge hunky RD350 and its owner Vinith Bakshi. Vinith Bakshi is an engineer turned graphics designer by profession and a bike lover by choice. He is the proud possessor of a machine that people derisively call a white elephant. Maybe so. There is something about the RD350 that Vinith so passionately loves. Well, in more ways than one, I think this bike is a lot like me and I'm a lot like this bike. I like to be free, hate crowded places, hate the heat, absolutely to death traffic jams. Love riding on one wheel. I bought this bike because I was in love with this bike. I had a roommate who had one of these and I just wanted it so bad. It just did something for me. It was very, very special. I mean, the two hearts beating at one. Tuck, 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 tuck. Feet can do the proper tap dancing, can propel this bike from 0 to 60 in less than 6 seconds and take you up to a top speed of 160 kilometers per hour, which is quite phenomenal. For all bike lovers at home, don't be aghast. I mean, this is just not an ordinary piece of rag. It's actually chamois leather I used to clean my bike with. This is really expensive, cost me about 500 bucks. Right, everybody uses it to clean their high-tech equipment and heads and anything precious to them. This is precious to It might have turned out to be a big money losing scheme for uh, the escorts people but I think it was the most brilliant thing they did because it exposed us to the kind of bikes that they were available at that point in time. The high performance machines which India was so badly deprived of. But the spares for this bike are very difficult to come by, you know, even if you do get the original spares they're very very expensive. I spent a lot of money maintaining this bike, I mean the service cost me 200, 250 rupees. It's like a white elephant, but some things you're just addicted to, you just don't know why. It's very difficult to find somebody sane enough who's actually willing to maintain this bike for you because me and my friends are all in the same dilemma. I mean, every other thing goes wrong, the spares are not available, the oil fields don't work, nothing works, what do you do? So we went around trying to find some guy and we found this really neat guy and we just hang out there on Sundays and try and fix our bikes and discuss our problems and try and find some common solution to all our woes. Since 86 I have been riding this bike and in 1995 I decided to start off with a garage because there were very few mechanics available who could really do this bike up well. Before I got married there was only one thing in my life which was the most important thing to me which was my bike. It was just get up in the morning and clean it and take care of it and everything, pamper it like my wife. I thought Sundays meant him and me alone together but I was wrong. Sundays meant me alone and him and his flaming 350 painting the town red. The bike didn't really have a chance in the Indian market of doing well because uh, this bike cannot perform very well in a country that's so hot. The engine just gets too hot. I mean, you try riding this thing in a traffic jam and that's it. You can't. Pretty soon your hands give up, everything gives up. It just starts behaving so erratically, starts missing. So many times, I mean, bike is out of production, you don't get any spares, there's nothing to in the market, everybody's trying to cheat you. I mean, things that should be costing 50 rupees are costing 450 rupees, but you don't have a choice. If you want this thing to you have to put in the money. Time for a quick ad spin, but don't go away because after the break... All you wanted to know about helmets and how to choose the safest one. Thank you.